Hi, what is up guys? Welcome back to another video guys. So today, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna talk about uh, basically my experience in calisthenics and basically how it changed my life throughout the years. Well, to be brutally honest, I didn't change much. So because I've lost a lot and I mean a lot of my old clips, I'm gonna act the whole entire thing out and it's all gonna be damn accurate. So have fun and enjoy guys. And for story purposes, I'm gonna wear my old glasses. It has been a long time, my old friend. Uh, nope. Too early. Oh my god, man. I just got my first victory royale. Wait, wait. Oh, wrong time. Yup. This is me when it all started. This time you crossed the line. Psych. Nah, man. I wish I could have started this way, but unfortunately, we all aren't perfect in the beginning. Okay, so now you might ask, who was I back then when, um, way before this crazy bodyweight stuff started? Well, um, I was an average Joe Asian guy. Okay, so where did my whole entire journey begin? Well, it's a long story. So guys, this is Xiao Mei Mei. I used to have feelings for her. And most importantly, I was in the same school as her. So one day, I was just walking to the groceries and I saw her. And thinking that this is my chance, guess what I just decided to do? Straight away, I went down to the ground and do some push-ups to show my dominance. But she didn't give a crap about me. As stubborn as I was, I thought she was shy and it would be the right time to propose to her. Will you marry me? I didn't understand. I spent 70,942 hours of my life doing her homework and this is how she repaid me. After the rejection, I went home and slept for a whole 48 hours and started acting weird before doing my first else. <laughs> And after two weeks of training, I got to the point where I felt comfortable in Elsit. And of course, uh, like everybody else, I searched tutorials to get a longer hold time. I actually keep seeing this word, these two words, calisthenics and street workout. I went into further detail and I really liked it. All the moves, I liked it. It's just mind-blowing. But uh, among all these mind-blowing moves, uh, three literally just stand among every other move. Of course, it is the planche push-up, handstand push-up, and the one-arm handstand. When I first thought about it, I thought that all these moves that I admire are just so simple because I have mastered multiple extremely hard push-up variations. But soon, things turn out to be the opposite as reality kicks in, and I was really shocked. The handstand was just far too scary for me. No, 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 not today. Not, I ain't dying today, guys. And the planche itself was way too physically demanding for me. And I, as an average Asian kid, an average Joe, a loser, guess who I decided to go to? It's gonna be pseudo push-ups. You wanna be able to do at least 10 pseudo push-ups in a row. Explosive push-ups at least 15 times and L sit for at least 15 seconds. If you can pass all these requirements comfortably with perfect form, then you're definitely ready to start learning the full planche push-ups. Yep, yeah, baby, I passed all the requirements. Yo, this planche push-up gonna be easy. Easy. So for the first exercise I have to show you, we're gonna go for a 90 degree hold into a push-up. And we're gonna lean hard enough that our feet come off the ground. All right, first progression. Let's go, baby, let's go. Why my feet not going? Uh. 
so eventually the planche push-up was way too difficult for me so I just went back to trying to do handstands and breaking my fear eventually I got my first handstand so immediately after I got my first straight handstand, I just went straight into doing handstand push-ups. It was my very first long-term goal of my whole entire life. I spent hours and hours just attempting. Is this the best way of trying to learn a skill? Well, no. Uh, but yeah, that's how I got my first few handstand push-ups. And I was actually really satisfying. I was actually really satisfied with the progress. And I tried to start the planche again. So in the beginning, I was doing mainly a lot of basic uh, foundational exercises such as super pseudo planche push-up, uh, tuck planches, uh, and I make some really decent progress with my planche. And eventually, I got my first straddle planche. However, towards the end of the year, I just got weaker. Um, I'm not too sure why, but I think it's mainly because of my in proper training where I do mainly very short holds and just one rep of really advanced exercises. So in the beginning of 2021, I just focus on mainly uh, suitable progressions where I can hold for at least 5 seconds or do in a rep range uh, between 5 to 10 reps. And on February, this happened. <coughs> I finally got the move I dreaded for so long. And now is where all the fun and really really cool skills all just come. Like this. this time you cross the During my calisthenics journey, I learned quite a number of things. For one, uh, just don't rush the process if, when it comes to anything, be it your job, your schooling, your relationship, or your calisthenics progress. Another thing I learned is, don't try to find love with calisthenics. <laughs> it doesn't work that way. And if you're gonna do calisthenics to impress people, you're gonna impress majority of the boys. Which is how I found my bros. I love you. You guys, you guys appreciate what I do. Not like, not like that other girl that just rejected me. Not like Xiao Mei Mei. Come, let's be bros. Yeah, boy. You are sexy. Exactly. Boy, oh no. <laughs> <laughs> when you go in the sun.